Hey Fire Signs, it's Nicola. So this will be for August the 2nd. We're going to start off with the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses Oracle deck. I love this deck. Um, we're also going to be clarifying with the Hermetic um, Tarot deck, which as you guys know, I just got these decks and I am loving them already. They are absolutely amazing. Um, I also like, a, I don't know if you guys know, I've been using the Starman Tarot. This deck is an awesome deck. The more I use it, the more I am like really in love with it. It really is. It's just very deep. It's deeper than what I expected. I've seen a whole lot of stuff, but when I look into them, I'm like, shit, you can really see like a whole story within one deck. Oh, I see that anyway. All right, so let's get start, started. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. This is for August the 2nd, 2010. Messages, what guidance. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August the 2nd. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. See what we have. Whoo! Angel of addiction healing. So this is a time of positive transformation and healing. Some of you guys could be healing um, addictive behaviors. Um, you could be a. <laughs> some of you guys, this has something to do with 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 your shadow side. So some of you guys may be um, healing some behaviors that have caused you to either be. Like you've been codependent on behaviors. This could be, this doesn't, for a lot of you guys, like for, some, for me, my addictive behaviors are questioning my own, even though I read you guys, I question my own intuition all the time. So that is a, a problem because I always feel like I got to double check, triple check. None of that is necessary. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Um, so some of you guys, the, it's whatever addictive patterns you have. Like for instance, if, if you, um, Tarot can be an addictive behavior. If you rely on tarot, and I'm telling you, I'm a tarot reader, but I'm telling you, if you rely on tarot every day in order to make decisions, that is addictive behavior. You have to trust your intuition. You're not allowing yourself to truly be able to see clearly. You're allowing yourself to be told what to see. So that is an addictive behavior. Um, and that's something that I battled with for a long time, to be honest with you. I still battle with it sometimes. If I'm going through stuff, I'll try to go to tarot real quick. No. You have to be able to trust your own intuition. For some of you guys, this could be money. You could have uh, spending problems. You could be having drug problems, alcohol problems, shopping problems, um, even having to reach out like for, for a, not for me, but for a lot of people. I know, for instance, like I have I used to have people in my life that would not make a move unless they like verify with everyone that what they were thinking was OK. That's addictive behavior. It is all. It is about releasing anything that prevents you from being you, realistically. Okay. And under that, we got the goddess of shadows. It says, "What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure." So for some of you guys, what you perceive to be the dark side of you may not. It may be. It may not be dark as you think it is. It just may be the way that you're reacting to it. My shirt is irritating me. You feel what I'm trying to say? That's that's like, say, for instance, if you have a relationship, okay, this is perfect, especially for my fire signs, because y'all, we, this is one of my main side, one of my main elements as well, fire. Fire and earth are my main elements. So we are so passionate that sometimes we allow the passion to become a codependency. Say, for instance, if you're in a relationship with someone and this sex, 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 sex all the time, that's a codependent type of situation because it has to be balanced. It has to be structured. So you may be healing that type of energy. You feel what I'm trying to say? nothing wrong with passion but it is wrong when it's the basis for a relationship or the basis for you being able to move because once the passion goes what do you have you feel me? so let's see what messages we have this is for my fire signs sagittarius aries and leo some on rise and Venus. what messages what guidance do we have sagittarius aries and leo some on rise and Venus. what messages or guidance do we have for sagittarius aries and leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August the 2nd, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's happening. Six of Wands. So someone is moving forward. This was the, no, it was not the underlying energy. Someone could be moving forward. Um, there's victory moving forward here. Six of Wands here. So this could be you. Two, five of Wands moving forward. There's conflict right now. So someone is dealing with conflict and, and 
Uh, like I say all the time when I see this five of wands, this ain't your comfort. <laughs> this person is defending off bullshit. Other people, look. Whoa, it's my ninja card. Y'all you know what I'm saying? He fighting off all that other shit. Really defending himself. So someone could be in a position of having to defend themselves. Five of Cups, there's a lot of changes. Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Whew, King of Wands. Justice here. Now, the King of Wands is in the surrounding energy. So either you're focused on moving towards something away, uh, balancing out the situation and moving away from, from whatever conflict this is, or this is someone in your external um, that, that could be focused on balance, could be focused on moving towards you, or this is who you have a conflict with. So Page of Wands here, I really feel like there's some new type of energy. I feel like there's good news on the way. Six of Cups. It could be a reconciliation or check out that air sign reading because this is kind of, this is almost the same as the air sign reading. I forgot what the name of that one is. <laughs> I forgot what the name of it is, but this is almost the same as the air sign reading. So I feel like now you may be in conflict with an air sign because these are, it doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. Like, it doesn't feel like you're moving toward this. I feel like you're moving away from this. Because Six of Wands with the Six of Cups underneath here, I feel like you're moving away from this. I feel like you're making a compassionate decision to move forward. Um, I really feel like you're moving away from this. Because there's conflict here. The, the underlying energy is balanced. So right now, there's conflict that needs to be balanced out. And the way to balance out is either to be enthusiastic about moving forward Focus your intentions moving forward. Create balance within your mind and your heart. Like literally, she got a heart and a brain right here. So some of you guys, the reason why you're in conflict is because your mind and your heart is conflict. So some of y'all could be in conflict with your own passions right now. Your mind and your heart is causing you to get all squirry and screwy and shit. All right. All right. So let's see here. Mm-hmm. So with the five of wands, why is this five of wands? Page of wands. We're not bending these up. There's the only thing I, I love these cards, but I do not like that they're so thin. Y'all know I have a problem with thin cards. I want cards to have some substance. Like, you know, I don't want to be able to do this and I touch it and the whole card is screwed up now. Like I got runs in my card. I love worn cards, but I do not like crumpled up cards. You feel what I'm gonna say? I like cards that you know, look like you've used them for a while. That has some character, some history. So why is this five of wands here? I've seen the page of wands. Some of it could be having conflict because they're dealing with some. The page of wands is petty shit. So some of you guys could be focused on moving away from somebody that's petty. Um, could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a young fire sign. Page of cups here. Wow. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is emotionally and energetically young. Um, Knight of Swords, they may be angry with you. You may be angry with them. There's a sort of holding on to money or holding on to codependent type of situations. But the thing about it is, is lack. So I feel like with the King of Wands, someone needs to really take action toward their passions, moving away from the conflict. Some of y'all are, you're in conflict because somebody's angry. Either you're angry or somebody you're dealing with angry. It's, it's a childish type of energy. Someone is lashing out because they're angry. So now you're in this place of, of weighing, weighing out, you know, it's like you're weighing out the sins and forgiveness of the situation, you're weighing out the good and the bad. Um, yeah. Thinking about the past. Why is this five of cups here? Why is this five of cups here? Why is this five of cups here? Page of swords. We got a lot of page energy and I do not like that. Because I feel like someone is, especially with these two together, all right. So someone is disappointed because someone may realize that they've been manipulated. Especially if someone was holding on because of money, holding on because they didn't want to be at a lack. They may have ended up at a lack anyway because someone may have manipulated them. Eight of Pentacles here, manipulated them into investing time or investing money into a situation. Page of Swords, Magician, and the Fool. I feel like someone's very disappointed here because they feel like they've been a fool. They're lacking confidence now in speaking their truth because they feel like that they've been in regret. So someone may be in, okay, for some of you guys, someone may be in conflict about moving forward here, trying to create balance and try to, or trying to, they may be trying to right a wrong. 
So you could have good news. Somebody could be coming in or coming back after dealing with some addictive behavior. I believe for a lot of you guys, we got the five of wands, five of cups, five of pentacles. Well, it's not the five of pentacles, but one plus four is five. So I feel like someone maybe had addictive behavior around money. They could be facing now their shadow self, dealing with the past, looking at memories of the past. But there's an air of, of guilt or, or it's guilt and regret. That's what I'm getting. Guilt and regret. Somebody here may be now trying to figure out how to balance the situation out. How do I fix what I've done? I feel like that's what's going on. So with the King of Wands here and the surrounding energy, why is this King of Wands here? That's uh, Aries energy. Could be, it could be any. It could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but King of Wands is Aries energy. Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here? Three of Wands. Did not see these, so I'm not going to take them. Three of Wands here with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands first. So I feel like here... Someone was trying to establish, someone's now trying to establish strength, making plans, trying to perfect their work. Page of Wands under here. Yeah, so someone now is trying to create mental happiness, focus. Now, you could, for some of you guys, I feel like, okay. If you're dealing with the fire sign, they're focused on creating mental happiness to a situation that was once an addictive type of pattern. I feel like it was a toxic situation. Um, I, I don't know if they're, I feel like they're changing the behavior because fives represent change. And I got three fives within this with the justice card, which is balancing or um, for some of you guys, it's, it's righting a wrong, trying to balance out a situation. It's also balance of the mentals and the emotions. So someone that now has consideration for both. It's, no, it's not so much as a cerebral type, because whatever this was before, someone was trying to think and not using their emotions or their passions to make decisions, which created addictive behavior. I feel like now someone is really wanting to balance that out. So with the King of Wands, if this is you, you may be making plans here, looking out to the universe, trying to make plans to establish strength and perfect your work. Um, I feel like you feel as though you have a new path. You have a new opportunity to really move towards something new. And I feel like this is fair. But if this is someone coming towards you, I feel like there's problems within the connection that you're having and you're having good news because someone is coming in to help balance the situation out. So with justice here, this could be legal for some of you guys. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Why is justice here? All right, so we got the King of Swords here. Someone's making a decision. You could be dealing with the Libra. You could be focused. You could be dealing with the Libra. This could be a divorce. Someone could be making a judgment. Knight of Cups here. So yeah, this is about balance. Someone's making a judgment to balance out. And I'm only saying I don't see judgment. I don't see judgment. So this isn't about going back. This is about making a decision. The only reason why I say judgment because the King of Swords here, I see him as a judge. So someone could be making a decision um, to create balance or create wealth, figuring, feeling, figuring or choosing to weigh out a situation. I feel like someone's weighing out a relationship. Like two of Pentacles is juggling as well as back and forth. And you see how she's juggling? So I feel like someone's weighing out a relationship, weighing out the health of the relationship, weighing out if it's balanced or not. Um, someone's making a decision, I feel like, to go toward the most balanced or the most wealthy type of energy. And not saying wealthy as in money, but I feel like wealthy as in health. So with the page of wands here, because someone feels someone is understanding that whatever they had before with the five of wands and the five of cups wasn't healthy, it wasn't balanced. Especially not seeing that I got the, and this is crazy here. Underneath, I got the six of wands and the six of cups. So right now, someone is dealing with challenges within their with it. this is um emotional and energetic. Someone is is really trying to figure out what is because they're changing. Someone is going from the page to the king. Someone is changing. So someone is really looking at their, their internal conflict as well as their emotional conflicts and really wanting to balance that out. And by balancing that out, the way that they're doing that is you by taking on the energy of the justice, really 
weighing out the pros and cons of moving forward. So I really feel like someone's moving forward. Um, and that's the balance. Definitely check out the air sign reading because that was in there. Now, page of wands, whoever here that was petty, three of swords here, I feel like someone is going to, yeah, they're not happy with that. Three of swords, four of cups, nine of swords. I feel like someone is going to sever a connection that makes them unhappy and move toward a new type of energy. That's the good news. Nine of cups here. So someone is getting out of addictive behavior. Someone may have been dealing with someone that caused them to have conflict, and that could have been the addictive behavior. The conflicts could have been the addictive behavior. And someone is understanding that and really creating balance, doing what is right by moving away from that. I like that. So you're, someone is identifying their own addictive behaviors. I like it. I like it. Eight of Wands, and they're moving quickly. Someone is healing. They're wanting to transform and heal so that they can move forward. I like that. So like I'm telling you, the addictive behavior, it does not have to be uh, anything like you don't have to be out on you know heroin or crack or nothing like that it doesn't have to be anything that extreme it can literally be for a lot of people the addictive behavior or the codependency may even be their fear of being alone so someone could stay in a situation that is not beneficial to them and keeping them at a lack because they have a fear or an addiction to having someone near so addictions can come in all forms don't don't think this is about like sex drugs and money like it can literally be your own self-worth that is like you might find your worth in someone else, which is an addictive behavior because your worth doesn't lie in someone else's acceptance or non-acceptance of you. So someone could be healing that as well. What messages do we have? What messages do we have? We have mother, wife, sister, daughter, twin flame, and fertility. So some of you guys, ooh, some of you guys could be going toward a twin flame. Uh, you're purifying. I do see here with purification. So some of you guys may be purifying your surroundings in order to really bring about this new type of energy in Twin Flame. Um, and this person, when I say mother, wife, sister, daughter, does not have to be your mother, wife, sister, daughter. But it is about understanding that this is fertile time for some of you guys to either find or become a wife. But some of you guys do have to heal some type of energy dealing with a woman. There's a purification that needs to happen. So this is all I have. Peace, y'all.